A Lafayette man is facing criminal charges after allegedly bringing a gun to a high school football game. According to Lafayette Police, 19-year-old Ethan Ludberg attempted to bring a weapon into the Southside High School game being played at Como High School Thursday night. As high school football fans flood the stadiums for Friday night football, News 10's Britt LaFaso tells us how the LPSS is making sure guns aren't being smuggled inside. LPSS school campuses have a very strict no firearm policy. That, of course, extends to the high school football stadiums. I think the message behind the arrest is that these are firearm free zones and that Lafayette Parish Schools takes it very seriously because it's not just about catching someone who's doing something wrong. It's also making sure that the people going in can really enjoy the game in that atmosphere without having to be concerned about there being a firearm or anything dangerous like that around them in that particular space. That feeling of safety coming from these small two poles. LPSS finished installing these weapons detection systems at every school this spring, and they're now at the front gate of every high school football game. You know, unfortunately, we are at a time in history where things like weapons detection systems are just a necessity, and I know it makes my heart sad, and I know it makes a lot of other folks' hearts sad as well, but it's the reality. The bottom line is we want to keep our students and our teachers safe, and if that's what it takes to do it, then that's what we're going to do. Thursday night's arrest showing those efforts are working, and high school football fans can relax enjoying their Friday nights like they always have. I think it's nostalgia. I think it's support for their own children. I think it's just a lot of things and just the energy that is at a high school football game. The 19-year-old suspect in Thursday evening's incident was charged with possession of a firearm and a firearm-free zone. Reporting in Lafayette, Britt LaFaso, Kayla Fly, News 10.